welcome back. My name is Alex for Builds and today we are on the final part of Let's Build a Townhouse. Now I just want to say a huge thank you to you guys for the amazing support on my last video. I really can't thank you enough. I saw about 30 people individually leaving me nice comments which was just so awesome to see and we hit 64 likes on that video in about 20 hours which was just absolutely crazy. So of course you are here to see this townhouse let's build and today will come with interior and also a download if you can't be bothered to follow it that's fine with me you guys can just download it and check it out for yourselves. So this little car tutorial we have right here was actually featured on my channel a couple of days ago. It is a Volkswagen Scirocco R, like a really cool kind of small hatchback sports car in the European market at the moment. And as we get in, you will see some pre-planning. Now I like to do pre-planning in my videos. It allows me to mark out things inside the build that I, um, you know, would have taken me more time otherwise. So we can, you know, get through this build quicker. So I think for the inside of the build, we're going to be using some polished diorite. And we're going to be using this for this room. So just fill in this whole room, guys, with some polished diorite. And then I'm going to show you the location of all the furniture. So this is going to flow with them underneath window pane details. Window, normal windows even. <laughs> what am I saying? And um, I just love this material. It's kind of got like a quartzy kind of it's like a mix between quartz and stone i guess it looks like the quartz pillars just in like a stony kind of format so this is going to be our front room this is going to be our living area where you know the people spend most of their time in the house so if you come in one block we're going to have this three by two tv cabinet as you can see guys i'm just marking out the perimeter and that's going to be a cool little stand and of course the tv if you come out by two, come in by one, you click this and we have a little side table where you could, I guess, rather rest your feet if you're on this side of the sofa, or you could put drinks on. Now coming back by one from this block, we have a small four by two sofa, which is going to be a double seater, probably appropriate since this is a two bedroom house. And coming out by two, from here, coming out by one, we start this. And this is going to be a side cabinet table where you can store DVDs, uh, or loads of, uh, basically anything you need to store in a house downstairs. And this is four by two, one block away from the wall. Uh, it's gonna be a pretty cool sleek design. Now for this, we can either do two things. We can have a floor standing speaker, which is gonna look really, really cool. Or we can have a lamp design. And coming out by one block, Hitting this, bam, you're at the light, and then if you come up by three, just recording, uh, then you've got a lamp design. Okay guys, sorry about that, just uh, that came in. Uh, if we come out now, we're going to hit this little area, which originally I think was going to be our hallway until we changed things up. And now this is going to be a small dining room, or I guess where you're going to eat breakfast. Either one, I guess. You come in. Right here we have a block, we have a curved TV on the wall, I like that little feature. You jump across by one and then we have what is going to be a very small little table. Now this is three by three across, like kind of section. Come across by one and then you've got a small little other seat. Now on these two, these can either be, you know, two little cabinets or they could be some speakers for the TV, see if we're having some kind of surround sound. Now as we get in here, this is the new hallway where the location for the hallway is now going to be placed. We come in by two from this wall, one across, and you've got a little cabinet. Of course, this is where our stairs are located. And now through here, we have our kitchen, which is a pretty cool design for kitchen. I mean, we've got a lot of light flying through. It's going to look pretty cool. So let's start off here, guys, and let's start constructing this design. So we're going to get ourselves out some black stained clay. This is going to contrast nightly, nicely with that uh, kind of like white, um, whitish kind of flooring we have. And you can delete the two back blocks for this. What you can do is you can get some snow. Oh, no, it's not legit, guys. I just remembered. It's playing so much on um, the world edited servers. It really does forget, you know, you forget these little things. 
I'm going to put two little stairs there. I'm going to get some slabs out. We're going to construct a new sofa design. What do we think about that? You know, it's very simple, but it works quite well. If we put the black carpet over the top, how would that look? Or would that run up? No, I like it without, guys. I think that's a pretty cool looking sofa. Right, that looks pretty smooth. So what we're going to do now, is we're going to get some slabs out. Maybe of a different material. Let's go with some dark oak wood. Just like that. Very simple. And you can put some signs on it. Oh, not there. Right on the side there. Just like that guys, and let's extend it by one more. We could even put one like that. I'm not sure guys, this is going to be a trial and error design for sure. What about like that? I mean, it's very simple, very basic, but it works. And this is going to be the same with the TV design. Remember to put some diary underneath that. Get out your black stain clay and just place it across like that. In fact, I think the quartz stair would look cooler if uh, we placed it in the other direction. So you had it like that. Oh yeah, that's the business. I'm liking that. That's pretty cool. Um, so for our cabinet designs, why don't we use some birch? It's going to contrast nicely because it's a light material which will go with the walls. I think that would look pretty cool. Yeah, it does. Um, we can do now is get some buttons out. I'm going to keep this simple. Have two like that, um, and then maybe just add a little flower pot. You know, the trick is with interior is you don't need to overload with detail, and especially what the hell? Did you just see <laughs> what? <laughs> what is going on? Uh, let's try that again, guys. Flower pot, and <laughs> let's try and place it down. That is the weirdest thing I have ever seen. Can we make this work for us? You know what? Let's, let's try it. Let's be experimental. And we're going to get some azure bullets out. We're going to place them inside there. I have never seen that. Maybe that's just a small little thing that happens on um, normal vanilla Minecraft. I'm really not sure. I've never seen that before. And for this, guys, we can get out some birch. And we can come up by one, two, like that. Have a look, sea lantern, simple light design. See how nicely that works. It's so simple, but it's still effective. All right, what we're gonna do now is get ourselves out of painting. Actually, why don't I use a little Merwin, little Merwin trick here. So we're gonna try and find three of the same paintings to add here, guys, and they're all gonna be in a line. So we could have three of them. Why don't we try two of them actually? That will actually no. We're gonna do we're gonna do three. It's quite difficult to find the same painting over and over again. Hmm. Let's see if this works. I think it works, but I think what we need to do is some of you OCD people are probably already ahead of me on this little detail, is to make the sofa a little bit bigger. To make the side cabinet. A little bit bigger like that. You know what? That's a very flush design. It works and it is very simple. Of course, the sea lantern is going to provide the needed light that we have to have for this. And you know what? It's flush. It's simple. It's effective. We're going to go with it. So what we're going to do now, guys, is we're going to get ourselves out some more. What are we using here? Some birch. So we're going to get some birch slabs, some stairs, and some fences. So we're going to try to construct the cool table design now. And we're going to play around with ideas. What about something like that? Because guys, this is quite a small house which limits us for ideas for interior. Um, how am I feeling that design? Not really. I think what we could do... go very simple like that. I don't know guys, it's all trial and error. Let's try flow through this polished diorite. I think we might use this as the same flooring material for the whole entire build. 
So let's fly it through into our little like breakfast dining area. We might have a breakfast little area in the kitchen as well. It just depends on how we feel about the design, what we think will fit and what will not. So of course this is a very smooth material because of the lines, it really flushly just flows through. I'm not really feeling that table design because I can remember another little thing that we can do. We get out some of this oak wood. Actually no, this was a smoother one. And uh, we just come across by three like that. What we can actually do is we can put an item frame on each side. Well no, actually because this is now 1.8, why don't we put some banners like that? Yeah, and then we get a little flower pot out just to make it look quite nice. We put that in the dead center and we put another azure bird so we're going to have the same flow of little um, decorations. And for seating here, what we could use is we could use some spruce stairs because we are very limited to space in here, guys. I don't think we can really come up with like that interesting designs for seating. Um, yeah, you know that works. Um, what we're going to do now, we're going to get some item frames out. Even some banners. Why don't we find some brown banners? Do we have some brown banners? Oh guys, I really do apologize for this. Um, for some reason, all my banners look white at the moment. Why this has happened, I have no idea. But when you do get the download, guys, you'll be able to see the uh, <laughs> the build hopefully for yourselves looking all cool and realistic. So what we're going to do now is we're going to get some note blocks. Uh, we're going to play some like that. I decided these should be speakers, and we're going to get some item friends. I think we can play some on note blocks. Like I said, I come from building on a server where you can basically do anything you want, so being very limited. Now we're going to get some discs. Uh, some white discs, I think, would work nicely. And we'll put them like that. That's actually a very sleek design, and it works. Uh, we're going to get some black stained clay now and make that little curved TV that we have going on. And, um... What can we do? Should we bring us back white with one more? I think we should. We're going to see one in a second. So you're going to bring us back by one. That means, of course, bringing back the uh, spruce wood fences. Just like that. And that is going to allow a nice little skylight feature to float some nice natural lighting down here, which is going to be really cool. We're going to put some fences now across here and here. And move on to the next room. So I'm pretty happy with that. It actually turned out quite cool. So what we're going to do is we're going to just bring this across like so. This is our new hallway as you can see. So uh, we've got a flying design cutting through there. And hopefully guys we can do this part under 30 minutes. That would be very good. Alright what we're going to do now is just bring this all the way to the end of the hallway. Come on you can do it. And also look the outside also flows in with this design. That is so smart. What we're going to do is we're going to get some black stained glass here just to kind of show it is a doorway this is like a sliding glass door put that there we're going to keep the hallway relatively simple to you know go with that flow design and we're going to get a flower pot once again put some more of that azure down we can nick it from there yes we can that may be a simple painting just a two by one painting Perfection. So that is such a simple, nice little design. Now the kitchen is going to be definitely challenging because of the shape and the size. It's not the biggest of kitchens in the world. And guys, actually, this little feature right here may delete that. So what we're going to do is we're going to expand it through here. Yeah, because of the size and the shape of this kitchen, I'm going to have to come up with something entirely unique. So we're going to have to try and come up with something. We're going to put some polished star right here. And I've had an idea for this kitchen. I don't know if we can, we can do it. I was going to have 70s flooring in here. You know, like that black and white kind of striped flooring. But I don't think that can work. Hmm. I've had an idea. 
get yourself out some pupils. So you'll be able to see it hanging down there slightly. Alright, so now you're going to want to get yourself out some fence posts. I'd probably say you use birch for this. And can we put levers on the bottom or is that wild it? Because I know they update a lot of new things. Damn it, that is wild it? Okay, um... What alternative design could we come up with? Yeah, I guess that would look really modern. Quartz, maybe, to make it look a little bit more realistic. <laughs> you know what? That's not too bad. I'm liking that. What we're going to do here is we're going to get out some wool. And we're going to make a nice little fridge design here. So this is going to be a 2 by 3 fridge. On this side, you're going to want to delete it. And I forgot what was that thing. Is it a hopper that we put in between? So guys, guess what that is, another little trick from Merlin, so check out my showcase series if you haven't seen it before, but you will pick up a lot of cool designs on the way. This is actually like a little espresso machine, and what we're going to do is we're going to put two lines down there, and then we're going to put two brackets with a space in between to kind of show like it's a little door handle, we can pull it out. So once again, it has been a simple kitchen. I'd say what we need to do now is wrap the design around if we can like that and we're going to get ourselves out some furnaces see how much space do we have guys we're going to pull this out by one more and we're going to pull this across by one more actually that looks pretty cool because you kind of flow through you know it looks smooth now we're going to get some fences out and some black stained glass. This is a little trick from the pearly bomb. What about if we put it four on the other side? And what we're going to do on top is we're going to add some black carpet. Okay guys, so what you're going to want to do is crouch while you place these so you can place on top of the furnace. And we're going to have this whole entire side of the kitchen just the black like that. And you're going to put a little trip wire hook here. can see that looks pretty smooth actually I'm liking that design it's looking pretty cool uh, so is there anything that we can add we don't want to overcomplicate it like we've got to keep this thing simple um, there is a possible area for a TV I don't know if it would look too much could have one here let's try to drop it down by one You know what, that works. Just a simple little TV design right there, guys. Um, and that is the kitchen done. That is, we've already done the, the uh, outsides. We can move up to the next level here. And in fact, we will have to do a little bit of room planning here. So what we're going to do is we're going to actually extend this wall out by another two. On this block here, guys, what we're going to do is we're going to create a free little gap. And then we are going to create some more stairs which are going to take you up to the next level hopefully yes you are going to be able to walk across that this is going to take you up that little bit higher from this block onwards guys you're going to want to delete the ceiling okay and then place two more on the opposite like that place two more up and then of this block we will be finished Okay, so we just about made that design. It's very tight that design. So with this, we gotta we gotta see what we can do here. Do we leave it like that? No, that's kind of cool. It like shows shows like the side of the staircase. I think we can work with that. If you work up, this is a little storage area, guys. It's not going to be much going on up here. I guess what you could do is put some fences, just fencing off that area to you know try and make it look a little bit safer. Uh, and of course we're going to have to drop down to this level and have like, we could have like a little waiting room I guess, let's just check out oh, okay so in here we're going to have a bedroom you know, we'll bring this wall out by 4 actually by 3, by 2 and then in here we're going to have a bathroom actually, correct, we're going to do that here, you're going to want to bring out 
another little wall and this is going to come across all the way to there. So you're going to have one, two, three, four, five, and then three on this side with one gap making where your bathroom is. You're not going to have much privacy, but it doesn't look like we have many neighbours around here. Just some shit. So you're going to want to bring up these walls now all the way to the ceiling, just to mark out, you know, these are walls. And I am fearing there may actually have to be another part of this townhouse, guys, just because of the sheer, uh, you know, time it really takes to create these things. It's not easy, you know? So we're going to have one bathroom, one toilet in here, and why don't we just say... You can also have like a little lounge which kind of intermingles with um, the other floor. Yeah, we're going to have a little balcony here. We're going to say the top one is... Um, the top one is closed, but this one's open, and what we're going to have on the balcony is some spruce. Some spruce, right? Or no, some birch. We're going to have some birch seating. So we're just going to have a simple chair like that. We've got to be very careful with this design, guys. Yeah, you know what? That works. And we're going to have a black stained glass pane in the middle here. And we're going to have a black little carpet here. And torch. I'm going to put a torch in here as well. So some like little outside balcony light. You know what? That looks smooth. It looks clean. It's a simple design and it works. I could say what we could have here is possibly another one of them little sofa designs. But of course, this is going to be a smaller version. And this is just going to be like a little waiting table. So if we get out some quartz stairs, place them at the back here like so. Um, this is going to make the design again. Just a little like waiting seat. Um, and then what we could do is get some quartz out. Actually, make a cool little design here. Just a simple little like modern bookshelf design. Something needs to be here. What could it be? I'm gonna block off this area, guys. We're gonna continue this through, like so. And what we're gonna put in here is we are actually gonna put some trapdoors down, the wooden version, and this is gonna be like a little airing cupboard. See, like incorporating little areas you wouldn't usually be able to in a normal build, you can do with this build. It's got like a lot of cool shapes to work with. So we're going to put a birch little office table right here. Um, what can we do for this one? Actually, I know a really cool design. Uh, what we can do is we can put... What was it? I'm just trying to think what we did. Oh, trap doors. Please tell me this is doable. Please. Fences. See, I saw another really cool design by the pearly bum. No, it is not going to be durable. Unfortunately, um, you're going to want to get yourself out some snow then. We're going to come up with an alternative design. And that's going to be your like MacBook. And then what we're going to have here is we're going to have some like little fences. Uh, get the dark oak ones because I think they contrast the best with the white. That is so weird why it does that. Like. They could be some little side speakers. Uh, and what we can have here is we can have also a dark oak little office seat. So you can place it like that and get a door. Uh, I haven't learnt Smithers Boss's doors yet that well. So we're going to try one of these doors because these will be different to all your uh, door designs, guys. Uh, so that is like a very traditional door. Um, let's see, let's try a dark oak door. No, that's not going to work. Door. Okay, jungle woods. I think that won't work. So let's try birch and spruce as well. Yeah, that literally looks like an old door. You know what, guys? We're going to use that. We're going to use the birch door of this pack. <laughs> 
going to put some signs on the side and it's going to make a very modern office chair design. And this is going to be for our little work production station. This is going to look fairly cool. You know what? It flows well on like now. We're going to put like a little flower pot. Right here with an azure little billet plant in there. That's going to look quite nice. Whoops. There we go. That is looking awesome. I'm just going to take a quick break a second, guys. I will be back straight away, and I'll see you guys in a second. Don't go anywhere. Hey, guys. Welcome back. So we're going to get ahead, and we're going to finish off the bedroom design. But I can just say, guys, I'm really liking this look. I mean, we've kept it simple. There's not a great deal of things that we can actually do, you know, this uh, house being this small. But for what we've done, i got to say, I'm liking it. I think the design is really cool. So for the bath design, I'm actually going to come up with something quite unique. And it's going to come up by two. And then it's going to come up, it's going to come up by one like that. Let's see what we can do here. Does that work? Maybe not. I'm going to create a couple like that. So it's actually going to be like that. So we might have, <laughs> that would be pretty cool. Let's have a ladder on one side. And what this ladder is going to do is it's going to allow you to climb up to a bath which is actually floating off the ground and it's going to be like an infinity path so you're actually going to be able to be like right up against the glass you know it's going to be awesome crap for privacy but then yeah again it doesn't look like we have many neighbors around here <laughs> so what we're going to be doing next is we're going to be getting ourselves out a cauldron actually no no screw that we're modern we're going to go with let's get some spruce wood out Let's place you there, and uh, what we're going to do is we're going to get a pressure plate. We're going to get the weighted one, because I personally think it looks the best. we we'll place it like that. That's our toilet design. Then we're going to get some hooper hoppers. We're going to place one there, and we're going to get a trip wire hook and do the old-fashioned method, even. The voice almost left me there. Um, get an item frame, and why don't we try a red banner? Uh, guys, this will appear to you as white. For some reason, at the moment, all my banners look white. And tonight, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go on and I'm going to get that sorted out. You know what? That could actually look really smart. I've not seen anyone do that yet either. So, you know, it could be a first here. <laughs> Sorry about my uh, voice, guys. I think I'm losing my voice a bit. But what we're going to do now is we're going to put... Ah, oh, that's all even. <laughs> we're going to put one there. And we're going to get a... What do you call them again? Trap door. This may work, this may not work. I guess we could have one like that, but that's way too simple. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get a lever. I'm gonna get two levers in fact, and place them like that. Get an item frame. Place them over two, put a red banner on one, and then put a blue banner on the other one. And that's a normal blue banner, guys, not the red. No, not the uh, light blue, even. So that's going to be a simple design. It's going to work quite well, I think. And for roof height, yeah, for roof height for this build, uh, we're just going to have snow as the whole entire second floor um, flooring. And what we're going to do is we're going to get ourselves up some black carpet like so and uh, we're gonna divide it into sections so what we're gonna do is we're gonna put like a strip down here uh, how can we gotta be careful about this guys because there's only so much that we can do hmm because you see you won't be able to place like where like things like ladders are so in fact we might delete that and what about that just as like kind of you walk in it's like a black strip and you have white either side just as like a little pattern design and what we'll do is we'll put a painting up just to add a little bit of life to the build. Maybe like a one by one. We don't want coffee yet. That could work, I guess. Um, what else? I need some lighting. That's what it needs. So what we might do is we might put a sea lantern and put a put on. Oh no, we can't do that. Sorry, guys. Uh, put a sea lantern there. We can. Where can we put it? We could have them for all of these. 
And then what we could do is we could get signs and we could just press that. Can you put, oh, damn it. You know, there's so many limitations to default Minecraft and I'm really learning them. We're gonna put some signs underneath like that as like a really modern support. And you know, I think that's gonna be it for that bathroom. We may do some more in the next episode, guys, but for now, that is what it's gonna look like. For the bed design, what we are gonna do is we are gonna get ourselves up some snow. We're gonna place, it's gonna be a three by one, two, three, four bed. Hmm, okay, and then we're gonna get some snow. Oh, again, this is gonna be the slate version. I'm gonna place, whoops, not one there. Place one there, one there. Move them up by two and put one in the middle. So it's gonna look something like that. In fact, why don't we raise that up like that? And what we're gonna do now is we're gonna actually get out a different material. Let's have a look at what we have for options here, guys. So I guess what we can do is we could put like a black strip through here. And what we can do now is we can choose say, let's look at a carpet design. We could use some gray carpet and we can have it just like that. It's gonna be a very simple bed design guys, um, but it works and it looks relatively good. What we're gonna be doing now is putting down some wool Actually, no, putting down some birch. Birch looks awesome. We're going to be placing one, two, three, four of them. And come up like that. We're going to get some flower pots and we're going to get some azure bullets because they look amazing. Uh, what happened to my flower? Why does this keep happening? Uh, pick you up. Well, let's place one there. I'm going to put an azure bullet like that. Get some buttons out. Place two there. And we're gonna make a relatively simple but effective wardrobe design. It's gonna be some polished diorite. It's gonna come up by three. Uh, and what we're gonna have is we're gonna have some black carpet. Just in the middle, very simple design. Works well, hopefully. And we're gonna be getting some black stained glass paints. And we're gonna be placing them like that. And just like that. That's actually a pretty effective design of a wardrobe, I think, guys. That works quite well. We're going to get a fence now. This is going to be a birch fence. And this is going to come up from the ground to two in height and hold a sea lantern just on top there. Whoops. There we go, like that. And we might just put some black carpet on top just to make it look a little bit cooler. So this is a very simple design of bedroom, guys. And that goes throughout the house. It's going to be a balcony that you will have to walk across, but you got to be careful not to fall. And uh, that is the end of the episode, guys. I want to thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to leave me a comment down below and leave the video a big thumbs up if you are excited for the final part and the download. I'm apologizing, guys. I did say at the start this was going to be the final part. I underestimated how much time it would take to do all the interior, to do a little bit more planning, and you know all that shablang. But anyway, guys, thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you guys in my next video. See you guys later. You